Previously on Life is Strange. Get away from me, Psycho! No! Whoa, I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Rachel. This can't be real. Max, we have to find that spot now. Th then we can see what he did. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. What the fuck? Chloe. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed it. That Nathan killed her in self-defense. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. What? David, watch out! Freedom. Warren, listen. Do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? I'm so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Y'all just blew up a minute oh, ago. Poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. Oh, Lauren. Are you okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. What is he gonna do, so though? I'm glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to... Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? I ignored the homeless woman outside the diner? I didn't even see anyone outside the diner. I, should I tell him, guys? Should I tell him that Rachel's dead? Right. I feel bad. I mean, the world's about to end, and I'm about to, like, end his world at the same time. I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. I want to hear more bad no, news. please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson has this creepy photo torture room and we found out he was using nathan prescott to drug and photograph blackwell students prescott fuck fuck i knew it i should never have hooked up with that sick punk papadou hated him yeah you saw you saw rachel wait he hooked up with nathan is that what he just said um, yeah, I mean, I did see Rachel. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... he killed her. How? How did he kill her? Overdose. Might as well tell he him all. some drug. And gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is... As if I sold it to him. Oh no. I no, killed no, no, my no. lioness. No. No. That's not what, what happened. Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? Did that He's happen? Dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. 
She's the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me, just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I guess that's why, where they got the drugs, I forgot. I just assumed that they got them somewhere else, but... Um, okay. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Rachel cared about a lot of people, especially Chloe. But uh, now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. Alright, well, thank God that conversation is over. Focus on the people here. Let's talk to Joyce, actually. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? Shh. I'll find her. I... I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe and David are hold up someplace safe. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. Even if he doesn't always show it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry, and I wish he was here right now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, I'm trying to keep my family together. And Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? Why is she asking me this? Because it's not my business. It is honestly her choice. David saved my life from the storm. He means well, even if he doesn't know how to show it. But this has to be your choice. I'm glad David was there for you. But I don't always like his attitude. And honestly, I don't think I can forgive him for hitting Chloe. If it happens once, it could happen again. I... True. I understand. I'm used to my life being hard. Chloe had to find out way too early. And I, I don't think we need David around to keep reminding us. You're right, Max. I think I'm making my choice now. Alright. Um... Anyway... Uh, let's go talk to... Please be okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. Yikes. Let's go talk to Warren. <laughs> as long as I have Pompadou. Oh, Pompadou. At least Frank still has Pompadou at his side. Oh, Pompadou. Okay. Warren. Hey, Warren. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. Oh. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. You should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh, yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. <gasps> I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. 
trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I started the storm? Wait, did I start the storm, you guys? Oh, my powers caused the storm. Okay, that makes sense. I kind of want to tell him that, that he killed Chloe, because that's why I'm here for the photograph, so that we can revive Chloe. Um... Okay. I have to go back in time. Jefferson already ki killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. Why is your mouth not moving? I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. <sighs> what happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? Oh, Warren is so supportive. Like, I don't know. I just came here and told him that I can rewind time. And he's just like, okay. Like, <laughs> he's not like, you're lying. He's not like asking any questions. He's like, got it. So, <laughs> like, what? Okay, I think we should tell Warren that he dosed me. He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and... Why is her mouth not moving, me? you guys? It's actually freaking me to freak it's out. so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Daddy Warren. <laughs> Where is he? Dead. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's, there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. Oh, wow, Warren explaining how I caused the storm. I'm not gonna say you believe me, because obviously he does. I kinda, I want more time together, because we're about to die. And I guess it is my fault. So. Warren, I know this all sounds insane. But you're the only other person who I can count on now. I wish we had more time together. Do you believe me? Max, of course I believe you. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. Oh. And I'm glad you trust me. Always. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole. You're part of something bigger. Now, I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. Oh, so I'm supportive. so proud of you, Max. Oh my god. Could there be more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you. Oh. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. <gasps> the photo. Oh my god. Max, do you Do you think this is the end? Did she just ask me if I think it's the end? Okay, so I don't really know what we're supposed to do, guys. I'm, like, wondering, like, if we go back in time, like, is it going to literally kill everyone? I think this is a stupid idea to go back in time, but okay. Hey. Be careful out there. I guess it's the only option. <gasps> oh, my God. Is it wax? It's wax. Oh. It's wax. I like how there's hug or kiss option. Guys, I'm going in for that kiss. Yes! Yes! For luck. Ah! 
Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Oh my god! I'm freaking out. Just in case we don't get out of this. I think he's gonna die, I so. Say. I know, Warren. Literally, rest in peace, Warren, but we got that wax moment! Yes! I'm gonna make the right choices from now on. But I seriously, guys, I think he's gonna die. That's why you're super. I think he's gonna die when we go back in time here. Literally, rest in peace, everyone in Arcadia Bay. Rest in peace. We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find was Nathan this, right now. Was it this red last Sorry, time? We're in. It, to Rachel. it is so red outside. Now, Chloe, wait, listen. Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to you're gonna die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking you. Girl! Back. You're right. I'm you're trying right. to tell you that you died. Mark Jefferson. Oh my you god. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We saw the proof. Now, excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Oh my coming? god, Chloe, you stupid bee. You stupid bee. It's too dangerous to go in there, you're gonna die, Chloe. Chloe, you can't get revenge if you're dead. It doesn't matter. I have to make Nathan pay for what he did to Rachel. And I know you've got my back. Guys, we just killed Chloe. everyone in Arcadia Bay for Chloe to just Chloe, not I listen. I have this power. She has to believe me now. Chloe, you better me, listen. I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? No. Oh, we have to tell her that Nathan is dead, I guess. Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Um, Jefferson killed him. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan, and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. Oh my god. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! Oh my god. You almost had her, Max. I can still do this. Chloe is damn annoying Excuse me, right I'm now. going to that party to make- Okay, exactly what happened, I guess. Um, Jefferson hurt me. Chloe. Jefferson- Drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here, and I can't lose you again. I won't. I'm, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I. Now she's listening. Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? What did I do? I don't feel like I made a terrible choice. I don't feel like I f***ed up, but I also didn't do nothing. So I guess I'll just do this one. I really don't know. I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? We went back in time. I, I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. Oh, we're going that deep with her? I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You, this is you so bad. This is so bad. Realized. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying. And you, you asked me to end your life. But Chloe, 
There was no way I could do that. This I is had so to bad. return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen. And as usual, I messed everything up. And... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. I'm yeah. glad that she wasn't mad. Oh my god. That's I feel like she could have got so mad at that. Come with me so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. He saved me, girl. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you. But I'm so grateful baby, David baby was there. Baby, thank you so much for the five so what's your gifted. Plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Who took that? Who took that? Okay, sh <laughs> No, I'm just joking. It's just a joke. I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Okay, so we're Both alive, but we're about to die. No? So much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And you traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And Word. I hope it was worth it. Uh, I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. Yeah, this is so bad, you guys. Wait, we need to get off the beach. You're Max fucking Caulfield. Can we get I'm off the beach and have this moment Even somewhere you else? You're kind and caring. There's a tsunami. It's about to come. No, you didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history i have to think that rachel was somewhere behind the scenes fighting for justice i'd like to think that too we all owe rachel amber yeah there's a huge Not tornado behind you that happened you you remember right well we we left the party and made sure jefferson couldn't find us for once i was glad i lived in an actual fortress and the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Stop beating yourself up, okay? 
We've both paid our dues already on that. God, look at that. Look at that monster. Can we go? Oh my god, I'm freaking out. This is like the size of like it's so giant. I can't even describe how big this looks. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. All right, let's go. Let's go. We gotta run. Chloe. I don't know what's happening. I've got your back, Rex. What's happening? Whoa. <gasps> Alfred Hitchcock famously called film "little pieces of time." I'm back in class. Yes. What? The hell? These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. I have to listen sorrow. to this Jefferson From lecture again. To shadow. This From might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is messed the human up. condition in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? This is actually an, a you real are? nightmare. Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Gloria. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces. What does that sound? I feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers in Toronto. She saw humanity as tortured. Right? What's going what on? What is that? What is that? Are those birds? Keep that to yourself. Seriously though, I could frame any oh, of you what? In and capture you in a moment of desperation. Oh no. Everybody's gone now. Max really f Have up. I totally fucked up time. I think so. This doesn't make sense. Okay. Is there glass on the floor? Oh, there's graffiti. From the wide shot, I thought it was like glass. Whoa. If this is a nightmare, I want to wake up. I want to die. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Paper ball. Not yet, you bastard. Whoa. This is so trippy. Max, if you're reading this, it means you're dead. Kind of a vibe. I see you, Max Caulfield. <gasps> Don't even think about leaving here until um, we talk about your Where did he come from? I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much. And we could be so happy together. Does he know about my powers, or does he have some? selfies when I can give you portraiture. There's no way I'm saying that. No way. Uh, I love you, Mr. Jefferson. Our dark room. My selfies are sh or thanks for killing Chloe. This is really weird. Um, I'm going to say I love you, Mr. Jefferson. I've been dreaming of the day when you would finally tell me. I love you, Mr. Jefferson. Call me Mark. We need to play catch up on all the time we've <laughs> wasted, especially since there's nobody left in your life. I love you too, Max. <clears throat> oh, where you go? Oh, is that Kate? Wait, is everyone dead or something? Like, for real? What is all the candles? Uh, is that her mourning herself? Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. Um. This is hell, I think. I think this is hell, too. This is like what I imagine hell to be. This is my room, right? Oh. Let's open this one. Whoa! Oh God, okay, let's just go in the door that Kate. What was that? Okay, well. Oh, a key. Okay, where did you last put those keys? 218. Let's go to that room. 218. 
218. Oh, does this not matter? Oh, it changed. Okay, I'm gonna look at this map. Who the f is Tara Garcia? Is that not where my room used to be? Because I used to be across from Victoria. And who's Lila Lee? Isn't that Kate's room? Rachel Amber, 224. Rachel Amber. She was my angel. Let's go in Rachel Amber's room. After my dad died, I moved. I felt abandoned. <gasps> I'm Victoria! <laughs> I'm Victoria! Wait, I love this. <laughs> Oh my god, they changed again. Okay, so now I exist again. Kate's back. So weird. If I go into like different people's rooms, will I become them? I'm gonna go back through my own door. <laughs> Victoria equals skank. Because of her images of hopeless faces, we feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. All right, maybe I need to go through Victoria's door. All right. Okay, now I'm me again. What is going on? Let's look at the map. Okay. I think this is normal, right? Look at all my pretty, pretty pictures. Look at me, I am Max Selfie. I'm gonna go through my own door again. Um. Um, am I the only one walking forward? <laughs> the leg on the wall. This is actual literal hell. This is hell on earth right now. Everything is backwards. Everything. Let's go into the bathroom. It's Jane Doe. Jane Doe. Damn, Jane Doe got a dumpy. Don't try to hide, Max. Get over here. Let me capture you. Oh, mini game unlocked. Hiding from Mr. Jefferson. Jefferson is coming after me again. Max. No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. Um. Do we kill him from behind? Maybe my picture is in here somewhere. Please understand, Max. Ah! Max. No! How did he get over there? He oh. used to be so pure. The so pictures are of his victims. I think this is... Die. Is this me? Please understand, Max. No! Don't look this way. Max. No! Oh, <laughs> they just made me start over. They just made me start over because I f***ed up so bad. Okay, where is he? Oh my god, run, run, run. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. There's like more than one of him, I swear. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah! Ah! Run, Max! Which way is he going? This way, okay. Go, 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 go. Max, go, 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 go. This is so hard. There's so many. Oh my god, look at him up there in the middle! This is so hard. Ah! Okay, go, 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 go. Good evening, Blackwell. Oh my god, there's so many of him. And I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. I regret. 
regret to announce that one of your run, fellow run, 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 run. Maxine Caulfield has died. Go, 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 go. This is so hard. Why is this so hard? I just gotta make one more run for it. She walks so slow, you guys. It's hard. Okay. Let's go this way now. Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Um, Warren, why are you in my nightmare? Babe, babe, babe. Who wants to go ape? Go ape, go ape, babe, babe. Scary. Oh, I walked right into him. I thought maybe I could go around the back. Okay, hold on. You dig my wheels, Max? Get in the car. I'll take you for a ride. Get in the car. <gasps> Warren. Why is he talking to me like that? Max, I know you're in here. You can run, but you can't hide from go, your go, go, white go. knight. Give it up. Oh no, it's if Principal. Marsh would have jumped sure off that What's up with you and that blue haired Miss Look at him. <laughs> Could blame Miss Caulfield and finally get her kicked out of Blackwell. Oh my god, there's She's so many of them. You guys, this is so scary. Who's that now? How can I tell Max's parents that she's a nosy little bitch? <laughs> go, 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 Max, go. Oh, Max, you're way you more disturbed and dangerous than me. Oh no, it's Nathan now. Go, 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 go. Snitches get stitches. Admit go it, this Max. way, go this way, go this way. You're a stoner. A pothead, a weed. I wish Max was a stoner, a pothead, a weed head. She doesn't get any marijuana shared with her. Those were my beans, Max. Those were my fucking beans. The beans. Don't you dare run away. Bottle. Oh no, Max. Bottles. Come back and die. This might be hell. It really no is. Oh my God, there's so many of them. Ah, there's nowhere to go. Max. Hey. Hey. Max. Oh my God. Max. Get a bottle. Get a bottle. Well, these ones aren't too hard to find. Should we just sit here? A lot happier. Max, sit down. You're taking a time out, no matter what. This is, this is my nightmare. So let me have one sanctuary. Overwhelming. Of course, this is where Chloe. Oh. Rachel needs to hide from the world. Okay. Space get up. Whatever reality I'm in, feels like a bad dream. It's gonna be so sweet when I bury your carcass next to Rachel and do an epic photo shoot. Ew. Okay, we're almost at the lighthouse. I think we're about to make it. Oh, now I'm just walking normally. <laughs> Do I sit here? Um, what the hell is that? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Fun. Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Is that me? dollars for the swear jar. You're bankrupting why, me. Why are her eyes like that? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that's me. You can't hide from me forever. Oh, because I'm looking through glass. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Hey Max, would you say hi to Chloe and Joyce? Don't forget to remind them that you let me die. Um, I shouldn't have ever gone back in time, ever once. How long will this nightmare go on? No. I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber. But not Max. <laughs> Max is a fucking child. Oh, Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. 
I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. <laughs> Let's prove it. Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. Not after she kissed me. Her breath was ass and no tongue. <laughs> I hear that. I'm not into nerds, but you're pretty cute. I'm not into Max anyway. So let's bust a move. Let's bust a move. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why <laughs> hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. <laughs> Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shock a bra. Huh? Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. <laughs> Not a little girl like Max. Huh? I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. <laughs> um. <laughs> how did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead, and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. I wish she would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. Oh. Y'all, what was the number again? It's like two, four, and five, right? The number that we had to use to get into the... Oh. There's numbers everywhere. Great. Numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? I'll be so grateful if this is the last digi code. Did she say digi code? Giving me digi tour vibes. Um, man. Oh. What? There's no numbers in the mirror except for that one. I'm so tripped out right now. I feel like I'm on drugs. Okay, 0311, I think, if, if it's backwards. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I got it. Okay, cool. Don't um, kill us, Max. I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California. Shit, Max. I thought we were on the same team. Now I'll die alone. I can't believe Honey, you kissed I me. Always so this is how it. Max I'm gets her revenge. And now you're gonna take me. It's okay if I'm. I did kill everyone in Arcadia Bay, didn't I? Do that? Time to pay yours. I guess my husband and new baby. I wish we had been we'll friends. Have to go without Max. me. But please. Oh, it's me. Don't let me die like. Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? Damn, this is crazy. I just tried to help, honestly. I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. Um, and once you got these amazing so. powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you'd give a rat's ass. I kind of, I do care. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? <laughs> you were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends. And I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. What about the crap that was your fault? Cool joke. Wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? You think she's worth all that? No. <laughs> um, I think we all are worth it. We all are. This isn't about Chloe. Or even me anymore. Gosh. You're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. 
Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. <laughs> it's called Stockholm Syndrome. I'm ENT. But you didn't do that homework. So you have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she's our friend? That she respects us in any way? Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh, hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Where Singing am I? These years feels like... Let's talk about your superpower. Epic. I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Sit. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. This Max, is so weird. You better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in Calbunga. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Photo bomb. Photo hog. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Sorry. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just Where's the floor? Me. Oh. That makes me... Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. Look, the worst thing you can do is... Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate This here. is so crazy. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Rachel! Oh, Rachel, no, no, please, not her! Chloe. What's going on? Max, Max, can you hear me? Please say something. Chloe, I, I must have passed out. Oh, thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. Are we gonna die? I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything. And all I really created was just death and destruction. Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power. You didn't ask for it. And you saved me, which had to happen. All of this did, except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max. This is the only way. I, I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... 
You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... Oh my to god, to die. No, no way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You proved that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. That's so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... my stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Oh no, you guys. Whatever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real. And they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose. I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe. I can't make this choice. This is like no, another it's... choice. Like her asking us You're to kill her. Oh my god. No! Are we serious? There's no way! This is so up because on one hand okay she's so right like i didn't even think about it but this all did start with that bathroom scene where she got shot and that's when i figured out i could go back in time i didn't even kind of realize that until she mentioned it so if we went back to before that ever happened we could just technically never touch time again and act like none of that ever happened but then she dies obviously which is not ideal but in the same breath, it's like, will that even work? Because I feel like we've already f***ed with time so much. There's, like, so many ripples in time going on at one moment that, like, going back in time to change something, is that just not, like, another f***ing thing that we're going to, like, add into, like, the ripple of time that's going on? Like, literally, I have absolutely no idea what to do. If we go back in time and we sacrifice Chloe so that everyone else can survive, obviously she's the only one who dies, right? But if we decide to sacrifice Arcadia Bay, don't we all die? Or are we safe on top of this hill with the lighthouse for some reason while everyone else in Arcadia Bay dies? What about my family? Oh, my family doesn't live here, I guess, because I'm at a boarding school. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I feel like... Dude, I feel like we should sacrifice Chloe because it's, like, one person for, like, an entire town. But also, I don't know if that's even gonna work. It feels like there, again, there's, like, no right answer here. Even the chat is, like, saying yes and no. My biggest fear, like, if you were to ask me what my biggest fear was, like, in life, it's surviving a catastrophe. I know this is, like, really random and specific, but it's actually my biggest fear is, like, going through some type of event literally like this and being one of the only people who survives or any type of like catastrophe where a lot of people die and surviving it it's actually like my biggest fear so i'm like looking at these options and like i'm actually like if everyone dies and i survive that is like not a happy ending to me at all it's literally like the worst possible outcome it makes me my heart go pitter patter just talking about it I know we love Chloe. I've given her a lot of shit through the series, but she's really grown a lot through the series. Like through all the episodes, she's become like a redeemable character. I feel like she had a really big character arc. Like the fact that she's even standing here right now and saying that she should be sacrificed 
shows how much like of a character arc that she has had. And it's sad, but if we were to like break it all down, she was supposed to die anyway. I mean, that's just like how this all started, is that we started f***ing around with time and fate. And this whole mess happened. This whole mess happened. And she did die like f***ing 50 times. Even when we were, we were trying to save her and f***ing around with time and fate, she still kept dying because I feel like ultimately that like is her fate, is that she is supposed to die, I guess, which is really sad. I do like Chloe now. Like, I think she's become, like, a good friend of Max. They've gone through, like, this whole adventure together. But I just don't think, like, sacrificing, like, everyone dying in Arcadia Bay besides us is a happy ending. That sounds, like, really sad. Like, what are we going to do? I don't want to sacrifice Chloe because she has, like, become a, a good character. So this is obviously a really hard decision. Like, I'm sitting here going back and forth so much about it. Um... But I think we have to sacrifice Chloe. Like, if we go back and we never change time in the beginning, then we're not, like, stuck in this f***ing weird space-time continuum. And I'm sorry for people who are saying no in the chat, but... Oh, I'm so stressed. This is such a hard decision. This is literally equivalent to when Chloe was, like, laying in the bed when in episode three, I think when she is paralyzed and asking us to kill her. It's like the same thing. Except this has like so much different of a consequence because it's like sacrificing the lives of literally an entire town of people and maybe f***ing up Max for life, like keeping Max in this like time warp. Oh my God. I just feel like this could potentially just like make everything go back to normal, hopefully. Okay, all right, let's do it. I'm sorry, Chloe. It's your suggestion, Chloe. Oh, this is so bad. I, like, don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, but I also don't want to sacrifice Arcadia Bay. Ah, okay. All right. Oh, my God. Max, it's time. Chloe, I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't want to do this. I know, Max, but we have Ugh, to. This is we have so to bad. Save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Oh, Chloe, I'm gonna miss you so much. This is so bad. Ugh! Why they even make me make this decision? I always love you. Now get out of here, please. Do it before I freak. And Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Never. so stressed out oh my god it's cool Nathan <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? Can I just stop this I from happening? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. This is so bad. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever... 
never even missed your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! everything unravel on its own because he's obviously gonna get caught for killing her i mean there's no way he's not gonna get caught for doing this and then i think jefferson's probably gonna get caught because nathan's getting caught it literally is like the butterfly effect this is so bad Arrested. There's never a fight. Okay, he's being questioned. He's probably gonna uh, like out Jefferson, I would guess. Yes, I knew it. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're having trauma moment. Oh, this is so sad though. This is really sad. So sad. But yeah, justice, justice was served. Very bittersweet in a weird way. Yeah, kind of. Who took these pictures? I didn't even think about that, that Chloe just died thinking that Max like ghosted her. Well, okay, in Max's defense, I don't feel like she ghosted her. I feel like she just moved away, like she was under 18. But it is really sad to think that Chloe, Chloe didn't um, ever know that any of that happened. But you know what, Max did. And Max is still here and has his memories, which is kind of sad, but we've got the, the, the Jane Doe necklace. Jane Doe necklace for life. Max needs therapy, I know Max needs therapy. Max needs major, major trauma therapy. She went through worlds and worlds of trauma, but didn't actually even go through it because then she went back in time and stopped it from ever happening. Oh no, we're going to the funeral, no. This is so sad. Butterfly. <gasps> that is definitely Chloe. Blue butterfly, blue hair. She knows. I feel like she knows. I know you guys are saying like none of the, those things ever happened, but I feel like actually they all were happening consistently at the same time. Like I feel like there's multiple realities happening at once, you know? And she like knows and that explained it because those realities did exist in some world but it's just not the one that we're in anymore do you get what I'm saying I feel like that's kind of what's going on and then Chloe shows up as a butterfly to be like I know girl like I know you did what I asked you to do I feel very like very somber that was such a good game I hope you guys are satisfied with my decisions a little bit. I know it was very um, controversial sometimes what I decided to do, but you know what? At the end of the game, I'm happy with my decisions and I really, really, really enjoyed this game. I think it was so well done. It was so well done and so interesting and so much fun to play. Like every time I sat down to play this, I was really into it and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, thank you guys for watching me play this. If you enjoyed this, I would be very much down to play Life is Strange 2. That's kind of my plan. I would, I would love to keep playing that. So just let me know if you want to see that. 
that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.